Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I want to talk to you about a really cool discovery that I made recently. Um, so I have another video about tongue drums and I've gotten some questions about tuning them. Um, and I had read that you could do some filing of the tongues to maybe get it a little bit more in tune. Um, but I also kept hearing something about magnets. Um, so I wanted to give that a try and kind of show you guys how to do it because the short story is um, it works really well on some tongue drums. <laughs> um, so it won't necessarily work for you, um, but there is an easy thing that you can try to see if it will work for you. So you want to start with some rare earth neodymium magnets. Um, and you can just type that into Amazon and quite a few will come up. I bought these for about $13, um, and this is kind of what they look like. They're super, super sticky magnets. <laughs> um, they are like seriously really sticky. <laughs> they're hard to take apart. So they're really powerful magnets. Um, you do want to be careful with them because they are really powerful magnets, and I guess they're also kind of brittle, so they can break, and then you have magnetic shards, and nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you do have to be really careful when you're handling them. So I'm going to split off two of them, let's see right here, and uh, just to give you an example of, here's what they look like, <laughs> and just to give you an example of how sometimes they don't work, um, this is a tongue drum that I got on Amazon a while ago, um, and it's in a pentatonic tuning, which is cool, but I wanted to see if I could do some other things with it. Um, but, as you can see, it's not magnetic at all. Um, so if your tongue drum is not magnetic, um, then you are not going to get any use out of this advice, unfortunately. But, there are some tongue drums on Amazon that are magnetic. Oh, and I happen to have one right here. <laughs> and I will put a link to this specific tongue drum down in the description. Um, so if you want to get one that is magnetic, then you can do that. Because this is really cool, what you can do with it. <laughs> so just to show you how strong these magnets are, um, I still got these two magnets. And you can hear that audible click as they are <laughs> drawn to the tongue drum. And there they are. You can shake it around and they're not moving because they are really, really strong magnets. That's what you want. So the neat thing about these magnets and about the way that tongue drums work is if you add weight to the bottom of the tongue, it lowers the pitch of that tongue. So I'm going to take this little rubber cap off and kind of show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put up a picture. Um, and as you can see in there, um, the magnets are kind of stuck on some of the tongues more towards the edge and on some of the tongues like halfway up. Um, and the reason why they're kind of all over the place like that is because you do have to do some fine tuning with the tuner. <clears throat> so generally what you're trying to go for is if you put all your magnets toward the very end of the tongue, it's lowering it a whole step. So if you hit it with your mallet, and it comes in as a C on your tuner. Uh, and you can just download a tuning app of any kind. I use Pano Tuner. I'll throw a link to that in the description as well. Um, but if it comes up as a C, then you want to put enough magnets on there near the very end of the tongue drum, on the inside obviously, that when you hit it, it's gonna sound as a B flat instead, an entire step down. Um, so maybe a better example is <laughs> if you hit it and it's a D, it's going to go all the way down to a C. And then you can find a halfway point on there where it will be half a step lowered. Um, so if this is a C, it will lower to a B. So once you have enough magnets on the bottom of your tongue um, up towards the end of it um, that you're getting close to that whole step lower, then you can start kind of fine tuning. And the advice that I got said that when you are fine tuning, you should try to keep your magnets as close to the center of the tongue as possible. So if you picture like a line dividing it in half, um, keep them as close to this half line as possible. 
Um, and for that whole step down, you want to cluster it over here. And for the half step, obviously, it's going to be a little closer to over here. Um, and then if you ever want to um, take the tuning things off without having to actually take them off, because those magnets can be kind of hard to work with, you can just slide them all the way back so that they are off of the tongue. <laughs> and then you um, they're not affecting the sound at all, so you get your original note. So I'm going to be doing um, sort of a series on fun tunings that you can do with these and neat things that you can do. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but just for now, I would like to show you, um, I have tuned this to a Dorian scale. And uh, among tongue drum manufacturers, they often um, give their scales kind of, I don't know, fun names. <laughs> um, like the Dorian scale is often called the Celtic minor scale or the Amara scale or I've seen uh, the Big Bear scale. Um, and usually what those are are just the Dorian scale um, with one note taken out. So it's a hexatonic six note scale instead. Um, so it's really easy to replicate that on a fully diatonic tongue drum that has a full major scale. So um, here is what that Dorian mode sounds like. It's very cool. super fun scale. Um, and now let me show you what the major scale sounds like. So you can see how that makes a really big difference and makes it sound a lot cooler. Um, so here's some fun improv kind of things that you can do with this Dorian scale. It's just a really cool sounding scale that you can use to improv over um, and it will be a whole lot of fun. <laughs> um, and of course there's all kinds of different tunings that you can use um, so watch out for some cool videos on those. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about this process just go ahead and put them down in the comments and I will answer them as best as I can. Um, so enjoy, have fun! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a absolutely wonderful day. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my channel. Look right up there and click the subscription button if you would like to see more of my content, and I will see you next time. Thank you!